Hi, this is Marty from Blue Lightning TV. I'm going to show you how to create realistic looking water drops. I've seen many ways to do them, but I've found the way I'm going to show you is the best. We'll start by making a new layer. Just click the New Layer button. We'll go to the Elliptical Marquee Tool and make a circle as we drag down and press Shift at the same time. We'll click on the Gradient Tool and then go up to the Linear Gradient. Make sure it's the first box. We'll go to the top left corner, press Shift and drag down. We'll go to the Layers panel and change the mode from Normal to Overlay. Double click on the layer and that will open up the Layer Style box. We'll click on Drop Shadow. To save time, I've preset the assignments of the blending options already. The color is set to black, and the blend mode is set to multiply. The angle is minus 29, the opacity is 70%, the distance and size are 5 pixels each. Use global light. Now, I've seen a lot of confusion on the internet about global light. Some people check it, some people don't. It's important to note that global light instructs all the blending options to adhere to the same angle. If you want different angles for each blending option, you have to uncheck global light. But since we're going to keep the same angle to all the blending options, we've checked global light. Click Inner Shadow now. We've kept Inner Shadow with the same options as Drop Shadow, except for the Opacity. We've raised the Opacity a little bit to 75%. Everything else is the same. We're going to keep these blending options by saving them as a new layer style. So we're going to click the New Style button. This will open a new window so we can rename it. We'll call it Water Drop. We'll click that OK and then we'll click OK on Layer Style. We're going to create a little highlight on the water drop, so we'll go into Brush and choose a size of about 7 pixels. Make sure the hardness is at 100% and then we'll magnify it up. We'll click B to get our brush, make sure white is the foreground color, and click down once. We'll go to the Layers panel and rename the Highlight Highlight. We'll do some organizing now, so we'll click on the top layer, shift click on the layer beneath it. We'll duplicate it by dragging it down to the new layer icon. We'll create the new group by clicking the new group button and then dragging the two layers into the new group folder. Now that we have a duplicate layer, we can move that layer to anywhere we want on the leaf. You can also change the shape of your water drops by using the liquify filter. We'll do that in a moment. The reason we have our highlights on a separate layer is because we want to ensure that the highlight remains as a small circle on the drop of water. If the highlight was part of the drop, the highlight would become so distorted in the liquify filter that it wouldn't look like a highlight at all. So we'll make sure the water drop layer is active and we'll go to Filter, Liquify. This will open the Liquify Filter window. We'll click on the top left of the Tools bar and click Forward Warp Tool. We'll choose a brush size of about 60 or 61 and we'll paint creating a fluid shape. We'll press OK and as you can see it replicates that very same shape while retaining all of the blending options we've chosen. We'll duplicate the water drop one more time because I want to show you something that you can really add to your water drop to make it even more realistic. When you look at a water drop, you notice that the inside of it magnifies the area it's on. So, we're going to simulate that effect now. We'll click on the leaf layer to activate it and then control click on the water drop or command click if you're on a Mac. Go to Filter, Distort, Spherize. This will open the Spherize window and you can slide the amount back and forth until it's magnified just ever so much. We're going to keep it at about 
the inside of the water drop is now magnified up a little bit to kind of replicate or simulate what nature would do with a real water drop. Earlier we saved our blending options as a new layer style. Well, let's do one more water drop so you can see how easy it is to use our new layer style. We'll create our selection and then drag our linear gradient across it. Press Ctrl D or Command D on a Mac to get rid of our selection. Double click on the layer to open up the layer style window. Click Styles on the top left and then click on the lower right box. That's the box that contains our layer style. Click OK and it immediately applies our blending options. Then press B for brush and just put our highlight on. And now you can move that water drop anywhere you want on the leaf. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe to my YouTube channel Blue Lightning TV. There you'll find great tutorials, tips, tricks and tests in Photoshop and After Effects.